Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today I would like to talk to you about the current position I am in. So it's been a little bit of a long time coming, like I've been part of Fallen Gaming Alliance, Fallen Gaming Alliance for like the last week, um, or you know, just a little bit less than that. And I haven't made this video yet. I want to talk to you guys about currently what team I'm a part of, what I'm going to be doing, and sponsors, etc. And my, my chair is squeaking, not sure if you can hear that, but my chair is having a great time Shut the actual hell up, nigga. Stop squeaking. It's annoying. Okay? Chill. Okay. Well, basically, I want to talk to you guys about the current situation I'm in. So, at the start of the video, you saw an absolutely awesome video. So, yes, I am sponsored by Cinch Gaming. Uh, well, technically, I'm not sponsored. My team sponsored that I'm a part of. Um, and, you know, that just kind of puts, pushes back onto me, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, we're sponsored. Fallen Gaming Alliance is sponsored by Cinch Gaming, Energized Gum, Fatal Grips, and we have an uh well, what's it called like a partnership or something with sector six which is pretty cool and then obviously i'm partnered on youtube with gampix so that also just why i have that up in my banner and stuff but yeah so we're partnered with three people and we've also got um you know like an affiliation with sector six and they're helping us out with like jerseys and all that sort of thing but you know that's really really cool we've got like the management doing all that shit i have no idea really much about it and my chair's still squeaking away but yeah so i was given the opportunity to join fallen gaming alliance which i was really really happy really really happy about and um yeah i haven't slept in ages so that's probably why i'm messing up my words right now but yeah so the owner of fallen gaming alliance was really really kind to me along with a couple other guys you know giving me a chance to prove myself let me on the team so i'm currently part of the b teams there's i think there's like three teams there's the nz team which i'm not a part of surprisingly um i'm not actually really sure who's in there i think it's only a few people um and then there's the a team which is death hands bassa you've got um, Don, <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Don because that's what I call him. Um, uh, yeah, his name's Big Don AC or some shit like that. Um, so it's Don, Heart, Bassa, Death Hands, Dreamy. Um, could be missing one, but I feel like that's it. If I'm missing one, I'm sorry, but I've only been in the team a few days, but I'm pretty sure that's it. And then on the B team, we have me, uh, our captain, which is Hammer. We have CTC7. Um, we have Roach Hazard, he's a cool kid. Um, we also have, ah, who else have we got? We have got McCaster, um, and is there any other? I'm sure there's probably another one. <laughs> Let me, actually, I might just do a double check real quick, because I don't want to feel, I don't want to do this to them. Like, I don't want to be that guy who's new to the team, and not even telling people who's in the team, you know? So, I'm just going to quickly jump onto the roster, quickly check. I want if I've actually been updated. Since I joined, I, I checked the roster a couple times, I haven't been updated onto there yet. Let me just check if I've been updated onto there yet. I mean, it's no big deal, it's the roster, no one really looks at it. No, I haven't been put on there yet, and of course, there's um, Joker. <laughs> right, Joker, I've been playing with him, like, for ages, like, the last couple days. <laughs> I have no idea how I've got him. But yeah, I've got the... Oh, that's, that's rude. The FGA Pro Team. Now, that's fair enough, though. The FGA Pro Team, they actually won a tournament last night, as I'm recording this, which was GG to them. They did a good job. I know... Their first map, I believe it was, it was a hard point. They won 250 to 249. <laughs> it was mental. I believe they were down by 13 points. But yeah, GG to them. They had a sick game. Um, I'm pretty sure Heart subbed in in the, the last map, the second last map. They ended up losing the s and I'm pretty sure, and they ended up winning the capture the flag. So that was pretty good to them. Um, they had a good game, and I didn't actually watch it. I'm, I'm sure they had a pretty great time but yeah apparently their call outs were freaking mental and they're, they're a bunch of great players honestly um oh, frick man i just want to get better <laughs> and yeah at the moment i'm on b team but i only just joined the team so i was going to be on b team no matter what anyway but yeah, obviously my uh my sh <laughs> i'm nowhere near at their level at the moment especially because i haven't been competing for the, like the last month either so that doesn't really help but yeah those guys are freaking mental psychopaths um, they, they're getting better as a team, they're doing good, and then at the moment I'm, we're, I'm with B team and we're, we're learning to um, get better as a team and like, you know, start getting some more um, progress and formation and kind of strategies and uh, chemistry together, which is pretty cool, so um, Hammer's been working hard, I'm pretty sure we've got a tournament tonight, we've got a bunch of training to get us all better and uh, working better as a team, so that's pretty cool, so we're working on that tonight, I'm pretty sure, as I'm recording this, of course, I mean, this goes up in like three days or something as I'm recording this, so, you know, like, you know, we're doing that, and then obviously in the studio, we've got, um, 
Votiax or something, um, who's Caleb, he's a pretty cool guy. He actually, back when I was with Team Semper like a week ago, um, he actually designed the, the logo for that. Yeah, that was pretty cool, he just randomly came up to me like, Oh, yo nigga, want a logo? Because you need one. <laughs> I was like, yo, shut up, bro. <laughs> and so yeah, he hooked me up with one. But yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. So, um, let me just quickly talk about the sponsors. So, there's uh, Fatal Grips, which is pretty cool. They just design grips and controller grips and um, like controller cases and stuff they're pretty cool and you can use temp um, you can use code FGA10 for a 10% discount of that also for energized gum use FGA10 to get 5% off gum they've got two current flavors of gum um, one's orange one spearmint and they've got one coming out later this month if not out already it's uh, some like raspberry one or like uh, strawberry one or something. It's it's pretty cool. Um, like berry flavored. I'm pretty sure actually. Yeah, berry flavored. It's, it looks pretty nice. I I've never actually bought one. I'm pretty sure they don't ship to New Zealand at the moment. But I might have to DM them on Twitter and figure that out. Because honestly, they need a they need to ship to New Zealand. Come on, mate. And then also Cinch Gaming, who just do a lot of controller modification stuff. Um, similar stuff to Scuff. But yeah, they're really really cool. They've got about 47k followers on Twitter, so you know they're lit. I mean, it's not too hard to get sponsored by them. But obviously, they're not just gonna sponsor anyone. But I mean. You know, it's really cool to be sponsored by them. They just like supporting, like, the, uh, you know, the less known brands out there, etc. And, like, the less known esports teams. And I'm really, I'm really appreciative of that, because Sense Gaming, they're pretty cool. You saw that intro at the start. I think that was a sick one. That was actually made by a person from the community of Sense Gaming, and I decided to take that, because I thought it was sexy, and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't care anyway. And uh, it was on the Sense Gaming channel, so, <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I think that's really, really cool, and I thought that was a sick intro so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say um um obviously on the new map here we've got verge i just i had a good game i think i went like 50 something for 17 um that was my first time ever playing verge as well i believe the first three maps i played on the dlc were all three uh, i think the first one was spire the second one was verge and the third one was um knockout so all three of those maps are all got 50 plus on i was like what the hell how have i managed to get 50 plus first time playing those two maps and then there's rift i'm just shocking at that map can we not talk about it i think i've only gone positive twice out of like the five times i played it so yeah it's not good i'm not very good at rift but you know that that happens um <laughs> so yeah um rift is just something we're not really going to talk about so much but then it's also sector six so sector six is a they like help people and create and you know like ship off like ship off freaking jerseys and stuff so they you can pay them to make the jersey that's pre-designed and they can also you can also pay them to make the jersey and also design the jersey for you i'm pretty sure so you know they do that um we've got the guy you know votiax in the studio helping along designing and stuff like that and uh you know him and the owner, Hart, they're like working to get all the jerseys sorted out, but they've had a lot of issues lately, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, it's just kind of funny, I'm just sitting there listening. But also, like, I've been competing, I have, I've had played a couple tournaments uh, over the last few days, and uh, I mean, it's kind of hard because I don't have a mic, well I, well, I do, but I don't have a new controller where I can actually plug a mic into, so I can't actually communicate with them unless they were to get on Skype or something, which I don't know, I don't feel like asking them to do that because. Then you know, that's also a disadvantage if they don't feel comfortable doing that. So I mean, I'm I just deal with it. I'm just like, come on, like I don't want to put them in the situation, especially because some of them might not have the internet that can handle it. So I just kind of sit here and I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna try my best to see what they can do. As long as we've got one person not calling out, we should be okay. Because obviously I can't make call outs. I can hear them make their call outs, which helps. But I mean, yeah, they I can't make call outs. So that's the only downside. Because I was playing. Uh, I was playing arena with the pro team earlier, and uh, yeah, <laughs> they were getting a little bit grumpy. We played against some pretty freaking mental players, um, and yeah, we lost by about 20 or 30 points in the hard point, and yeah, they just went off of me because I couldn't talk, so like, ah oh, shit, if he had not made callouts, he could have made callouts, we could have actually won that, but you know, I feel a little bit bad, I felt kind of shitty about myself because I'm like, oh man, like, I feel like this is all my fault, but you know what, it's nothing much I can do at the moment. I'm trying my best, and they, they understand that I can't really do much, so at least I'm not like, it's not like I'm going to get kicked from the team or anything for it, because they know I'm doing my best, but, I mean, you know what, <laughs> honestly, it was arena at the end of the day, and not like it was actual competition, but for the uh, actual B team, hopefully we can deal with it. At the moment, if there's four players, and then there's me, then they just, they're going to leave me as sub, because obviously, 
it's more of a disadvantage. I mean, I've got the gun skill and stuff. I mean, it's getting there. I just train all freaking day. I'm not sleeping at the moment just for the sake of it. But yeah, <laughs> um, honestly, yeah, I just said sub if they've got more, more than enough players because I, obviously I don't want to be that disadvantage. But yeah, that's all I can really do for now and hopefully... Um, hopefully that will change pretty soon. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have to cover for the rest of the video. Um, pretty much all I have to cover for the video. Um, it's pretty much coming to an end now anyway. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on with me and uh, Fallen Gaming Alliance and all my competitive stuff. And hopefully one day I can make the uh, pro team. But obviously I'm not even 18 yet, so there's no real point in actually being on the pro team or anything. <laughs> like, like, there's literally no point because I can't really do much. I can't, can't even qualify for... Pro Division freaking relegation. I mean, I can't do anything, so there's no real point. But I mean, at the end of the day, I hope the uh, the pro team do well because um, I'm pretty sure they are doing the relegation tournament. I mean, well, you know, trying to qualify for the relegation tournament for stage two. So we'll see how they go. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.